Here's a chat going on in real time. Eminem Private. Hello, gorgeous fan. How are you doing? I said, who are you pretending to be? Eminem? No, with that English, you're not. And sent a million laughing emojis. To which he sends the following with the dream face app still on it. Hello, Juliana. I know you must be amused to see me on video. I just want you to know that whatever you do, just believe in yourself. You're doing it okay. Once again, thanks for your perpetual love and support. I love all my fans all over the globe, and I love you. This has got to be the worst I've ever seen with the Dreamface logo on it. It's an app, guys, obviously. Where are you from, he asks. I said, you absolute Muppet Dreamface app. Don't you know what Eminem sounds like? Sent lots of laughing emojis. Ignoring that, he copy pastes because it appeared like magic. A12459 is the code I do give my fans because I often get reports from my fans that they do got fake private messages from fake private accounts. So if they don't give you this right code, no, it's not me and please do block them, okay? So I said, so you're not reading or comprehending what I'm writing. I'm not surprised. To which he copy pastes. I want to let you know that I and my management are working toward blocking fake private accounts here and on social media, okay? To which I said, ah, speaking with someone so illiterate and frankly nonsensical that I'm laughing so hard over here. Send me more copy paste paragraphs of nonsense. Go on, Mr. Dreamface app. And sent lots of laughing emojis. Hmm, where are you from? He says. Hello? <laughs> I wrote, Hel what? What do you want, fake Eminem? So we'll see what his response is. I want to be honest with you. Oh, great. It's a confession one. My response was, what? That you're a Nigerian scammer? I already know this. So we'll see if he says anything. I have to admit, that video was just ridiculous. I did download it. Obviously, I'm going to upload it as a short. So we'll see what his major confession is now. And in response to being told that he was a Nigerian scammer, he goes, yeah, but not my fault. The economy is hard over here. I said, yes, it is your fault. You choose to lie and steal from people. Bad government, he says. No. I said, it's still your choice. You hurt innocent people. To which he says, I'm a young scholar. <laughs> no, he's not. I'm so sorry about that. In response, to, I'm a young scholar. I said, no, no, you're not. You're ridiculous. I'll definitely stop it, he says. I'll stop it for your sake. I said, there is no remittance for you here. You think we're stupid. I know this confession bullshit you're trying and there is no friendship here for thieves and liars. Cost of living is high over here, that why, he said. I have stopped today, ma'am. And in response to cost of living, I said, same everywhere, but I don't rob people. And in response to I have stopped today, ma'am, I said, no, you haven't. You're still lying. Keep in mind this chat's happening in real time. So apparently he stopped 30 seconds ago. I'm an honest person, he said. I said, no, you're not, Eminem. I'll stop if you want me to stop, he declares. I said, how dare you even say that? You're the worst kind of scammer. I'll stop. I'm honest. Sorry. And in response, I'll stop, I'm honest. I said, would you rob an old lady on the street? I'll definitely stop if you want me to stop, he said. Curious to see what his response to, would he rob an old lady on the street? Not at all, he said. To which I said, why not? What you're doing here is the same thing. We'd cross posted. That's why you would stop if you want me to stop. That's why I'm pleading. So sorry. And in response to that's why you would stop if you want me to stop. I said emotional blackmail. You're disgusting. Okay, he said. I accept the insult. I'm off. I said I don't give a fuck what you accept. I'm off. He threatens me with a good time. To which I responded good. And obviously, I'm going to report the account. I've saved the video. <laughs> Let's play that one more time. Just for a good time. Because this is the most ridiculous thing I think I've seen in a while. Hello, Juliana. I know you must be amused to see me on video. I just want you to know that whatever you do, just believe in yourself. You're doing it okay. Once again, thanks for your perpetual love and support. I love all my fans all over the globe. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google Dreamface, guys. It's a real ludicrous app. 
Would you like me to stop, he says, question mark, when I didn't respond. I said, I don't care about you. You're scum. I want to be a very good son to you, he said. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Please do care about me. And in response to I want to be a very good son to you, I went, son, ew. Oh, I'm sorry, he begs. He's quite a fast typer now that he's stopped copy pasting. But he's he's been around this, you know, tree several times. This is habitual for him. I'll stop this nonsense, okay? Now he's sent me a picture of who he really is, which I will download. I said, you guys never do around stopping this nonsense. Plus he sent that fucked up stupid video. You're a moron. This is me. Sorry. I'll stop, he says. To which I responded, then stop and go away. No remittance for you here. No foreign mama for you here. No friendship for you here. So we'll, he'll beg a little bit more. This was a nice little treat on a Saturday night. I was just sitting here getting ready to watch some, uh, you know, um, Amazon and, and have a G&T. And that awesome little video just dropped right into my lap. Love that for me. I'm begging, he said. So sorry. And in response, I'm begging. I said, for what? I'm not friends with common thieves. I have stopped, he declares. Yes, and no more. Because, yeah, in the last 30 seconds, he's stopped. And in response to I have stopped, I said, no, you haven't. I'm just the only one who responded to you, that's all. Which he started to write something and stopped, yeah, which means I hit a nerve there. Love that for me. Honestly, he adds. I said, bullshit. Besides, I don't care. You have no client, so you're going to try and beg me for money. It won't work. Watch him go, no, I just want your friendship, ma. I'm not begging for money. I want us to be friends, he says. In response to not begging for money, I said, you would eventually. I added, you all do. At least you stopped me from this act, he said. Yes, I'm a fucking angel. Thanks, he said. I'm crying over here. I said, I'm reporting this account now, so make better choices with your life. And in response to that, he goes, please don't, I'm begging you, meaning don't report. I said, why? You said you stopped, so you don't need it anymore, right? I have stopped, he said. To which I said, then you don't need the fake account. Can I have your WhatsApp number, he tries. <laughs> yeah, good luck. I'll edit it back to normal, he said. In response to can I have your WhatsApp number, I said, no, my normal account, he says again. To which I responded, don't care. Sorry about the choppy quality. I only, I have only this, he laments. But I do like chats in real time, so you will get some pauses in between. Please! And in response to, I have only this, I said, and that's my problem how exactly? Like I told you, I'm a very honest person. Oh my God. Which he follows up with, don't panic. I love you. Love heart. I knew that was coming. So in response to like I told you, I'm a very honest person. I said, why do you keep saying such an obvious lie when you look at this account, the video you sent and the lies you're telling? I have stopped he repeats. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. This guy is such a moron. Hi, kitty cat. Sorry, guys. Front door's also open. So you might have heard some noises, but that's how it is. Ah, I tried to write, I, uh, in response to I have stopped, I said, no, you haven't. We've chatted for 10 minutes, but it couldn't send because Facebook's taken him down and he's still trying to type. So I'm just going to go, Facebook took you down. Wow, that was fast. See, he's still trying to type. He's going to try and send that. And they usually remove the chat anything that goes against their, um, you know, terms of service. So I'm so glad I saved that video. Oh, that was just a classic. So there we go. That was a quick little m and I'm wondering if his other message will come through. I don't think it will, but I'll wait a couple of minutes. I don't think he's restricted me because he was getting ready, obviously, to try and romance me. But I'm glad I have his photo in that video.
yeah, Paige isn't available. So hopefully, um, I don't think he restricted me, guys, because you saw him trying to type. So I won't delete this quite yet. I actually think Facebook did take it down. I think that's really bizarre um, that it happened so quickly. But you guys saw him trying to type. I got another really short M&M. &M. Um, Thanks so much for your love and support towards my career. Seriously, to your super appreciated love heart. I said, who are you meant to be with your dodgy profile? Eminem, honey, do you know, know me anymore? To which I just said lots of laughing emojis. I said, not with that English, you're not. Why? I said, go on and amuse me with your formats. I haven't seen him since. Yeah, I would say this guy is frantically trying to figure out why he can't send messages anymore. And you know what? Kudos to Facebook, though. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. Because I, when I said I was going to report him, I actually did report him. Um, I can't believe if they've taken him down or not. Hey, check for me, guys, if you can. Oh, no, he's still typing, but I couldn't send. Now we have a Facebook user formerly known as Teddy Swims. Hello, he said. Is it who's this, please? It's Teddy Swims. I just want to take a moment to say how much your support means to me. It's fans like you who inspire me every day. May I ask your name and where you're from? I said, you're about the 50th Teddy to try this now. I think I know your format better than you do. By the way, Teddy controls all his own social media and always has. Did you know that? He's famous for it. To which my scammer said, well, I'm not sure who you've spoken to, but be careful out there. And yes, I do control all of my social media accounts. Not trying to make you believe me or anything because you really don't have to. I'm grateful for the love. Keep it coming. Love heart. 100%. To which I went, sure, sure. If you know he has control, why are you making second accounts? Especially as he stated he never would. Publicly. To which my scammer said, This account is only temporary. My team and I are currently investigating a notorious imposter account through this account. No, no you're not. I said, ah, there's the format I'm so used to. Tell me about the FBI and, the f and Facebook next. I said, it still doesn't explain why there is any need for a second account. Unless it's to find clients. And yes, Teddy knows all about that. We all do. To which he just says, just move along, dearie. Some things are best left unsaid. Yes, because that's how Teddy would ever speak. I said, dearie, said no American ever. Doing a bang up job there, my little moogle. To which he goes, bye. And I went, bye. Make better choices with your life. At which point, I, I don't know if he's abandoned the account. Yeah, I'd say because we saw the bouncy balls he tried to send and now cannot. So he's active, but I think he's um, not. He's, he's been stopped from doing it. So Facebook take a while to remove anything. He hasn't deleted anything. So this is going to be fun. Okay, there you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz. What a lovely little treat for a Saturday night. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. Our little fella who absolutely is not poor either. So I don't know what nonsense they say. There you go. Love you guys. Bye.